Good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we'll be playing today some variety uh, on stream rather than usual uh, RP. So we've decided we're gonna play the coffin of Andy and Lele. It's like a small creepy story that I found out after watching uh, some other streamers play it. It's apparently like a really creepy and nice story. And since I like roleplay, like, uh, this is gonna be perfect for some uh, other games to stream, I suppose. Nothing too special. I have already fiddled with the um, options and all that. So we're gonna see uh, what this game is all about. It shouldn't be too long, I suppose. So we can just do it in one sitting. But either way, uh, let's go. Start a new game. Alright, these are the movements. Uh, interact with space, WASD, menu cancel, run is shift, full screen. Okay, amazing. Episode 1, The Coffin. Andy, Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and... Uh, I don't know what is this supposed to mean. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna assume what it says, but uh, I can already like guess what it is. Let's go over and uh, something, something, something. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. Ugh. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find New Treats to Not to Die. Ready, set, go. Alright. Where do we look? Is there anything on the stove? Inside the cabinets is nothing. You're used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Junk and unpaid bills, they cannot be eaten. The front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. Hmm. Whatever, just leave it. <laughs> just leave it for now. What is this junk? This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. They've already been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food resource. But wait, what is that? Got a can of tomatoes. Amazing. You should show that to your brother. Alright, let's go find him. Oh, oh, there he is. An alarm clock is ticking away. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Huh? Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to, rum to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it was in... Because I hid it in there, away from you. Ha! I live in a den of snakes. Ah, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat then. Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. I'll be there in a bit. Warden, good day. Are you still alive in there? Hello. If you all make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living eater. Ha, I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. 
Don't blame me for my delivery guy screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. No, wait. Wait, wait, come back. He doesn't. God damn it. Ugh. Uh, you boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right there, right here. No salt though. You've used all it up to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your dr eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got a balcony key. Interesting. Unlock the balcony door. Hmm, can't really see squat from here. You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Ah, uh, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set up something up to cross. You can't cross this as it is. What do we have? What do we have? What can we set up? Wait, do we have something outside? No? Mm. A mop. Detergent. Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. It is a washing machine. Maybe I'll take a shower. Not right now, you won't. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a shower, just like that. Um, What else do we have? Do we have something in the room? No? Maybe in the closet? Dirty laundry. In the trash lie your hopes and dreams, exactly where they belong. <laughs> it's still just an alarm clock. What else we didn't check? We didn't check uh, this this area here. Oh, there's something here. Got a wooden plank. Oh, there we go. Amazing. Now oh, we can cross on the other side. Set down the wooden plank. The boxes are full of useless junk. Cultist. O oh, demons from hell, hear my plea. O oh, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice. Cultist. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had a chance. Ashley. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. Satanic neighbor. Alright, let's go watch TV, I guess. Ah, the remote is dead. Just put push the buttons on the TV. Meh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, woe is you. It is. Our VHS player cannot be eaten. Batteries, we can take them from the alarm clock, I think. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. But batteries. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang up job. More. Oh, you have you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subs subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. I'm starting. 
Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all the apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and all the death toll is now at comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Ashley. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at the hotel for a bit. I thought you were you, you said we should stay at home until I didn't drink anything. Mom? Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker. There we go. <laughs> and now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to go and come in, co and go as you please after that. And if not, you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Oh, silly nurse. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask for workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would they lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacif pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't, I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please, don't call anymore. I won't answer. Good Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Mom seems like a real bitch, dude. After remin re reminiscence, re reminiscence all night, you wake up as he and as one does. Instead of ruminating up on your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. Uh, you're cleaning. What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? Okay, mm. mm. nothing here. You're not going to get this clean without your bare hands. Oh, some books on the floor. Clean up some books. Clean up some books again. Amazing. You returned all the books to the shelf. Now what else you could clean? Probably these stains on the floor with a mop. I think I've seen mop in the in this. Yeah, there it is. Got a mop. Got a detergent. You run the laundry. Now what else could you clean? Probably these stains. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Alright. One more here. Mm. You're feeling dizzy. Oh, you fainted. Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Mm. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's supply shortage shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? Mm. On, the, on that note, we'd like to remind you, all of you, not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. 
Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as, as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be a drift back into unconsciousness. Oh, there's a phone. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no. Go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more like a, and more upset as they talk through. Well, that's, I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can't try, try talking to her, but no, or I mean, yes, but that doesn't. No, I'm not angry. I'm just, no, I, can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you. Don't lay an Ashley and we had time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then? No, now it's quiet on both ends. Well alright I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for a faint beep beep of a drop call can be heard. Ah so. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's, um, that's apparently prima-quarantined. Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might be something more tactful to say. Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for how, who knows how long. You figure you should check out on your brother. Where is he? Is he like outside? Oh yeah, there he is. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Andrew, color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have sirens blaring at the corp for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody show up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe she went to labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I think they'd bring me some food if I got pre- Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. <laughs> Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker. So who knows, he might- He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it's just a thought. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours or maybe a few days, who knows? You're surely revitalized and bursting with energy. Hmm going on she's so slow for some reason there's an old drawing in the drawer Andy and Lele and the very best best I guess says Andy and Lele and the very very quiet in a capital letters no sorry it's Andy and Lele and the, and the very very quiet as your original vision clearly intended it. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. Okay, let's go check uh, up here. No, nothing here. Oh my gosh, she's so slow for some reason. Oh, she fainted again. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day it is? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? Where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Q. 
He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly bared from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't bring you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. I better stop bang bang banging on the door, or next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And see, you did. The absolutely nothing was delivered. Uh, talk about something. I got nothing. Right. So, uh, parasites. It's been a few months and you're feeling anything? Hunger. You didn't think something would happen to us by now? But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Ah, uh, who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't. Care no nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. Ha 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 ha. No, seriously, let's go. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together, and with such force our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been co confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... Ah, uh, the neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I wish he's just... Hmm? You feel like you should check up on that. Alright, we're go, gonna go check that thing. Wait, did I not have sound this whole time? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, dude. That can be true, dude. I thought I had sound the whole time, but apparently I didn't. That's pretty bad. Can't believe it. Um, how do I fix this? It doesn't work for some reason. It did work like on starting screen. Yeah, he see here it works. But here it doesn't. I'm not really sure why. Uh, application audio capture. Wait. Uh, how do I delete this? Remove. Let's try to add the existing one. Does it work now? It should work now, I think. I think I need to restart this game or something. Because uh, there was no sound this whole time. Apparently. So we have to restart this thingy. 
Or should we? Like, I don't know. I, uh, I guess we got sound now, so we can just go. Screw it. Here we go. Cultist, my lord, you've come. And you're, uh... A little smaller than I imagined. I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Uh, I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Darkness clouds your vision and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Huh? Oh my god. Hmm, so uh, am I already delirious or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on him? Well, at least the very I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about. <laughs> I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's going. There's got to be something this guy has that we can uh, that we can eat. Oh no! Burglary time! Shut up and let's get in there. The doorknob haunts you from the other side of the glass. What can I do here? I need to break uh, break the window somehow. Oh, there we go. I think I can use this. Got an ashtray. Door unlocked. That's a lot of meat, you think yourself. What? A lot, apparently. Though I mean, it is still illegal if we didn't kill the guy. Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him? Isn't that what you were insinuating? Now we're just making an observation. Ah, uh, but we can't. If we do eat him, then they, that it's that that's it for us. There's no way we would get caught once they finally let us out. It's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with a corpse is a crime too. I think you should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit they didn't give us food enough? And before that, you're going to tell them and even kill him? Really? They'll fly. Listen, we're only thinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm, ex I, I'm expecting an answer. Mm, yeah. Alright then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. Let's turn this music off. On the table sits a book titled Demon Summoning for Dummies, Volume 666. Now, did they actually have 665 volumes before this one, or... She asked the important questions, but what I, what, what I want to know is who the hell wrote the, it in the first place? Undisclosed. The author must be shy. Well, either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Got a cleaver. Both the fridge and freezer are, are empty. Hoping to get some food. So you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First you chop off the cultist um, right arm. Next up is left arm. We can't carry me out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. Oh, you, can't you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Andrew must chop, chop, chop the rest. I'll get it done, all right? Just get the bags. Or what? Did you want to watch? Go find plastic bags. Stay and watch. Let's stay and watch. I'll watch, thank you very much. Why, don't you trust me? Boy, are you being a little bitch today? Just let me watch, all right? Okay, then. Andrew re readies himself clearly averse to doing what he's about to do. Ah, uh, fuck me. Oh my god, what are we doing? Go Andy, go Andy, go! 
Shut the fuck up, you basket case. All right, a warden might hear. All that and whatever. Better hurry up, son. It's just meat. It's just some meat. Are you drooling? I'm hungry, all right. Ugh. Ah, you're gross. Go get those plastic bags already. Leave it to me. <laughs> you need to conceal this before taking it with you. All right, let's go get, get some plastic bags. And this, this thing is insane, dude. This, this story is already crazy. While yes, these are perfectly suitable plastic bags, they're also full already. You'd rather not carry the meat about you inside to use the trash bag. Find something else. Something here? Your parents have fucked on this bed. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the laundry. Maybe there's something in the laundry. Uh, here. Here. Got some plastic bags. Andrew must have returned this here. Got a left arm. Got a left leg. Got a right leg. Got a right arm. A small problem presents itself. Plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap, I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over? I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Yeah, see? If anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if we use two bags? Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Good God. No, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in their freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head into the freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, yeah, you'll cook quite, quite the something. The closet is big enough to hide in. The bathroom smells of feces and you'll feel like zero inclination to investigate further. Oh boy. It is just unlocked as, a, as your door. So we probably can cook here so we have to cook at home or something. Here we go. Here? The coffee machine sits alone, sad and abandoned. There are only so many times you brew the same ground, so no more coffee in this house. Wait, what do I have to do? Well, uh, by the way, let's save real quick. There we go. Item. Alchemy key. Wait, do I have to go back and do something there? Andrew said he was, he was gonna deal with this. Found six, 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 six bucks. Interesting. something in here. Mop? No. Toilet? No. Mm. I thought we, I should have to cook something, but uh, how do I cook without like... Uh... She said she's gonna prepare the meat or something. Fridge? You place the silver, silver limbs in the freezer. Now, which one do you want to eat? Uh, let's eat. Um, hmm. There's more meat on the legs, probably, so. We'll eat the uh, right leg, I guess. Alright, time to cook. 
All right, let's go. You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Oh shit, dude. Right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what uh, is what. Eat up. You first. Munch, munch, munch. Hmm? What? You are you already okay? Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Hmm. Right, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. Huh? Swallow. All of it. Grr. Well, well. How is it? It's... Good. God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. And quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, alright? Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes the plate. Good boy, I'm so proud. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left, so what do you think I should try next? I don't... I don't know, maybe cori coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. Yeah, just a peaceful night after uh, like being a cannibal. <laughs> Alright, let's go to bed. Uh, oh wait, is this my bed? Yeah, this is my bed. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. Lele. Said she likes you. Probably Andy. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So you're going to be her boyfriend? Gross. No. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah? You're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? Haha, <laughs> someone you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person for that matter. Screw you, I'm the most pers personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her into one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. I'll show her. Let's not. <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Let's go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse. And we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Ugh. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray, you're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Bitch in the Box. One day you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will turn, turn, uh, take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play and then when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of, one of these days. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Finally! Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise, I want to hang out too. Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Hey, did you tell your mom you're here? No. Why? Hehe, <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I went to study with Julia. What are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. <laughs> Divine intervention. <laughs> What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I'll allow it. Let's find a way right now. Here? What? Why they nail this metal sheeting on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. 
as in literally can do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Ah, uh, even though it's it's flimsy. Yes. I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful to this in this situation. I sure can. As you help us get in the warehouse. Okay, yeah, in that case, no. Ah, uh, Lele, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? Ah, it's nothing. Let's keep looking. There's a hammer here. Is there something here, maybe? Got a hammer. Okay. Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Oh, wow, it sure is uh, cough, cough, kind of dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Ah, oh, you're such a kid. Huh? And he wants to play too. You do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. 100. Count to 100 at least. Okay, okay. One, two. Alright, let's find a good box to shop her in. You still want to do that? Of course, she said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lele, you promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Oh, now this will do. There isn't even any lock on it though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't. Place a stick or something between the rings. I'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come. Aw, oh, crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. Ah, oh, let's hide, hide. Quickly, quickly, hide. Here? Where do we get stick, anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this'll do. Mm. We... well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No, who do you think, dumbass? <laughs> ah, she's fine, I guess. <laughs> uh. Found you, both of you. Who hides in the same spot? Idiots, huh? It was my spot first, then you're it. No way, Andy stole my spot, so he is it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. Hehe, <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one. Come take a look. Uh, okay. Here. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo, who cares? My mom does, she'll get mad if... 100... Oh shoot, he's coming, hurry, hurry! Er... Okay? Hastily, your friend hops inside a crate. Uh, hop. Huh? What was that? Hehe, <laughs> I got you now. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. Cough, this isn't funny, Ashley, let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up, she's putting up a fight. Cough, cough, I can't breathe. Cough, cough, cough. Is she alright? Please. Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from the, some dust. Come on, just let her out. What, you'll believe me, her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Cough, cough. Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better too. Bet everybody does. I already know. Cough, cough, cough. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you. I don't want to. And bet. Sniff. Bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean, maybe she did, but... Sniff. It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. Uh, I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Even my, my own brother picks me over her. I, I I knew it already. Did I not just say... La 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 la. Talk sure is cheap. God damn it. Cough cough. Ash. Ash. 
There, are you happy now? Yes. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that? You get to stay here until morning. No, please, Ashley. Let me out, please. Cough, cough. Ashley, wait. Don't... Don't go. Ashley, please. Ashley? Oh, this was pretty brutal, actually. Ashley? Are you awake? I am now. Mm, okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about the uh, on about dinner. Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else we were supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died. Ah yes, I'm um, sir. He summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I we wouldn't have had to admit we were there. We we'll just have told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What? What the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? Hi? Whoosh whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you, you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of a law. Listen, who cares? Urgh. Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault? First they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is, and is cabin even fever a real thing? I don't know, Ashley. Sigh. There's there, there, there. You know, I I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Um, anyway, I kind of just like kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some plan. I don't know. I kept thinking about it. I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. Oh. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I com what compartmentalize. Kinda like when we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? <laughs> Andrew. Andrew. Andy. I. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wow, ma, mommy, the big bad me did, did the evil thing. Shut your whore mouth. Make me a little bitch. Ugh, forget this. Hey, Andrew, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy's and Lele quest for something or another, remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we unpack it all later? Or not. I don't think it will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what we, I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. I throw us in jail right after. I don't know which is worse, twittering in this coffin of a house or getting ra railed in prison. Ah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled, Andy and Lele and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy jug up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. 
Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients, and you feel mighty. You feel you feeling mighty better today. Okay. What items do I have? It's the balcony key. The freezer is full of delicious meat. Yum yum yum. <laughs> yum yum yum. I think Andy's a, a neighbor or something. I'll have to take a look. Oh, thank you for the follow, um, Linda Gaming. Thank you very much. Phone? Mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call. You've also tried to order uh, a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. A bunch of rented movies. Their due date passed ages ago, but what can you do? Oh, okay. Let's go. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here's the demons. Don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they'll only be willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. He just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? Uh, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley? What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we, don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh come on! I'm not. Lo I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set up a ritual for up for, up for now. What's it needed? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. The candles. Got two candles. Replace candle. Got one candle. Just replace the candles on the floor for now. Place the candle. Place the candle. There we go. Was that all? Done. What now? Now we... Uh-oh. Still alive and kicking, are you? Oh, shit. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Uh, Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. Ah, uh, fine. I'll check after my round. The warden footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy's missing. Unless he checks the freezer. Which is where all this blood is pointing at. No. Go before the note he notices we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all, uh, mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped up the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be the corpse if you don't get going already. Okay. So we need a mop, right? So to clean this shit up. Um. All right. Oh, Andy's at the door. No, no, listen. It'll be a trade. I told you, I'm not interested. I've got some good books in here. I'm sure you'd like to read them while you jack off. I thought you said it's fine liter literature. Yeah, it's real fine. <laughs> like how? You'll have to see yourself. I'll trade one book for a pack of noodles. We'll exchange them via the mail slot. Or maybe it's a gen gen genre I don't like. Read me a sample. Like hell I will. Did you want me to get a character too? I don't want to get into this blind. Who knows what kind of crap you're reading. 
Just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Actually, I think each book is worth one of multi-packs at least. Why is it that you're always such a problem? One book for one pack of noodles? One ten pack. Push them in by one one by one, then you'll get the book. Listen here, you. I'm not I'm the one holding all the cards here. So I decide what the pointless negotiations go on and on. Alright. Let's go get the mop. Got the mop. Let's go clean the blood. Actually, the warden is coming. You hid in the closet successfully. Yeah, I, I checked the closet before that you can actually hit inside. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Oh great, another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? Oh, <laughs> he chopped him off, dude. Oh shit, dude. Ah, uh, Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. I wonder if it's a good time to tell him if none of this is your fault. Come on, then, Lele. Let's go play. Sheesh! I thought I got caught in there. You did. Happens to the best of us. There we go, another freaking body. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. Aha. Uh -huh. So, were you, were you... Where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Alright. Oh, look here. Got key to, to room 405. Hmm, interesting. He's still dead. Can we leave the door now? We can, at last. You unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley... Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that guy just went out of the window because you screwed up. I'm sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down there. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And... It'll be no doubt be obvious we did something. Once this guy shifts and, and the next warden comes looking around, it's best we disappear while we can. Well, as, as you might notice, I'm crying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you you're going to just find mom and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned anything I, on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I, okay, so you want me to never contact any anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities? Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah? Fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as an impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if you have to put it, to put even if you have to put you in there in yourself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell today. I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's. I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're talk. You're taking this seriously. There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm, all good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy, what? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad. 
or any of my so-called friends anymore. None of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls or come fling food up to our balcony. It would be quite the beat to throw something so high. The point is, no one came, in, came to try, so my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha! Huh. But it's alright, because Andy's here with me, even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry, I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's get the hell out of here already. There's 401 door. There's the exit. The door to the staircase is locked. Some emergency exit this is. The elevator is out of order, because of course it is. Closed. Let's check this. This is our door. This is all to, to keep... This is all it took to keep us in. I wouldn't board. It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. I say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Ah, whatever. What's this slip of paper say? The paper slip tapped on the door leads two times A B. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know. Don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Unblock the door. <laughs> nice, uh, nice, uh, welcoming mat. Fuck off. A note on the door reads two, one, 2 times A1 times B. 1 times O, but it's crossed over. Wait, can we go left? No. Okay, I guess we go to 401 then. Various documents detailing the selling and acquiring of organs. Huh? I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, goddammit. Looky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? It looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh, let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope. He only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Uh. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in, uh, work in pairs or two. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep curious people away and pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are you getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, oh, there's a key here. Found fourth floor key. It's the toilet. There's nothing of interest inside. Half eaten cup of noodles. Note on the fridge reads Notice from now on, AB types won't be given supplies. Except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from Trio 2 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. Oh, there, wait, there's not a key here. And, uh... That key to room Trio 2. So wait, I have, uh... Key Trio 2 and 405. Mm, 402, nothing. 403, there is... I can go to the left. I guess I, I need to get the walkie-talkie or something. From the warden guy. He's still dead. Go to third floor. Okay. This one is closed. This one is also closed. I guess we got to Trio 2. Let's just check the Trio 1 and Trio 3 before we go to tri Trio 2. Note the door leads 1A, but it's crossed over. A note on the door reads 2B. Oh, there's a girl in here. The fridge is full of food. Mmm, delicious. Hey, did I give you permission to go there? Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare to come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out. Oh, well, you found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? 
what, don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and I can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, what? They actually bring you food? Of course, literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely. <laughs> Ashley. Fuck you, get out, both of you. Leave before I make a scene. A nail gun. Looks like someone gave up assembling this furniture. Well, that was something. How come we got such a different treatment? Why don't one that I get food? It's you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not. When you go in there swinging your cleaver, she's, she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ah, this is hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist's room, we got a, a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave the room? Beats me. Let's just finish up setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly I am. That I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh yeah, okay. Fair point. <laughs> and I wouldn't let them anyway. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Go to fourth floor. Okay, call this guy here. Alright, let's see, read the book. So what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what guys had already drawn. They seem to work. The rune is faded out. You double check if this warden also had a gun tucked away somewhere, but all you find is the walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know, at least we'll hear in the other ward and tries to contact this one, which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal, at point we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this and we have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. Though he'll come in gun blazing. Alright. Ah, uh, let me think. Got walkie talkie. While he's at it, you dip your fingers into the dead warden's wound. Got blood. I'll have an idea. Oh. Let's have the ladies from the downstairs lure the warden up here with a walkie talkie. And uh, how are we going to make her do that? You know how. Alright then. Let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lightening the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on the way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the wood demon waiting. <laughs> um, okay, so... Audio... Wait, do I need the lighter or something? Oh, do I even have a lighter? I think I need a lighter first. And I need it quickly. Let's go check uh, on my home. Let's go check in here. Mm, let's go check in the room. No. There's an old drawing in the drawer. Oh no, this thing. How dare you laugh at my artistic genius. This garbage you hold on to. Hey, I was proud of this one. Still am. Well, it is the best thing you ever drew. I'll take that as a compliment. 
I guess there's no ladder for now here or something. Wait, I didn't check the laundry. <laughs> I flushed the toilet. Maybe the, the girl has a lighter or something in her room. Go to third floor. There we go. You two again. Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me. Uh-oh. What's going to happen now is that you'll come in, you'll coo into this walkie-talkie, huh? Tell them that you and your friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. Press the walkie-talkie on. Hello? Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really cro croaked. Mm, nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. All right, good. Let's go. I'll let go for now. What do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Lele, catch. Andrew throws you something. Got a lighter. Oh, he had a lighter. You hurry back up to the finish ritual. So now we light the candles. And now we turn the music on. Turn the audio, yes. So now, what am I supposed to... Ah, something is in here. Who are you? I can't see. You're asking me my name, human. Uh, what do you offer? Yikes, did I mess up? I didn't want to pay it for its name. I'm here. Kinda dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, him! I offer him! What the... Ah. So, uh, well, how is it? Human with a tar color soul. I give you this. Got an unidentified small object. Hold for an occasional clair clairvoyant dream. To gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you! Speak into a demon like it's nothing. The entity is left, and you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. He just did whatever he'd wanted. And he definitely just gave me whatever trash was laying around in his demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead, and I have even one clairvoyant dream. That'd be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. Alright, let's go get the gun from this guy. Got a key to second floor. Got a gun. At last, time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. Probably shoot the lady, though. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. Go to third floor. Oh, she's dead, dude. Oh my god. Tally, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let her, I let go. Why? You were talking... We were, you were talking a while. You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting that you want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Ugh. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. 
Andrew shoots his load while I, I risk getting shoot, shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady's dead right now? I guess she, she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's, what's it to you? It's always the same with you. You have to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. <laughs> cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow you out of your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And no, no, on that note, uh, will you back the fuck off my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better with off, uh, off without loose lit horse like that. So it really was you. Yeah? All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet your bloody love is here with, uh, where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. Ha, huh, and I bet you love it. If I kill myself then. Where'd that come from? I... Fuck, what a prime example of your... You, just you. You would. You would, I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can just for you. You know, I have just to think for that. Back at your back and call just as it was way back then. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything, but it's always I don't want to, I don't want with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see? If you'd have listened a word I said, you'd know I. Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Ah, uh, of course, we're just... Forget this, can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then, I'm going. Oh no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you, isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I'm not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You, cho you chose to lock that bitch in the crate. Where the fuck... Where the fucking cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep for that, Andy. My poor Andy. So, that just came out of your mouth. What? It's true. You chose to do it, and you chose me. You chose me. Me! You backpedaling fuck of a brother. You chose me, you did. You did. Ah. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can do it. You won't. You can, cuz. I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would uh, like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like she did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you? Can we go? I'd like to go too, but the thing is you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now and you'll throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said. 
There are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. It's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Ugh. I don't... Give a shit about her, I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what, what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll have, you'll behave? I'll behave, if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Ah, that's right, our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and, okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless, and I hate Lele like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy, so you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but it's you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor, and I'll also Warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later? <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. <laughs> oh boy, is there any food here or something? A bunch of dirty dishes. I already checked, there is nothing there. Snooping around a lady's bathroom, were you? I had to wash her blood off me. Alright, excuse accepted. Thanks. That is sown. Your happiness is imme immeasurable. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Go to second floor. Um. Oh, there's a door open on the right. All these doors are closed, I guess. Ah, look, an open window. Great, jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is the only second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it, isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? What if we climb down the window using this carpet? Not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh yeah, I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no, it won't. We have to set up something, hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Let's leave it by the window for now. Got carpet. I think I know what will work with uh, with this. Probably, uh, probably a nail gun in her room or something. Go to third floor. Where's the nail gun? Is it here? Got a nail gun. There we go. That will surely hold the carpet in place. Second floor. Okay, the two of you used the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. It doesn't look safe. There has to be something else. I'm going for it. It's nothing else. Maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. Alright, you first then. Damn it, alright, I'll go first, I'm a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Here we are. We're escaping! No way in hell I'm climbing back up. But what if you forgot something? Then that's forever lost, too bad. Sheesh, wish you told me that before. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town and find a buffet restaurant. Oh, then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then as long as we come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things for her, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to the real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. I even then, I don't think that's going to. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll work out. At least we'll live under a bridge or something. 
Like trolls, we lead those who won't pay the troll the, troll the cross. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of here too. And otherwise, I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but... The friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do you even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It wouldn't be it would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> you get on a bus and drive the hell out of here. Vroom vroom, motherfucker. <laughs> end of episode one. Alright, that's the end of episode one. I'll go take a quick smoke right now, then I'll be right back.
Okay. We are back. Just drink some water. Because this was, uh... Kept talking the whole time. Without drinking anything. Alright, here we go. Wanna save or something? No, fuck you. Save game. <laughs> Let's go here, I guess. Episode 2. Graves. You're finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have you have to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week, the author something non now are non existent. Just let me check. Uh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here? Anyway, we're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away I am to bank. So no money then? And I don't get why they want the, why the, why the one check my ID for every fucking thing. Like goddamn, I just want to stay out a hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? Paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Woohoo, the Mattel is just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that the, was that just you? I haven't shot anything yet. Ah what? I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey now, we can't both be co constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True, let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Right, let's go check here. Fuck off from there. Are you looking for something specific? No, I just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? <laughs> and then you got run over by a car. Just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. <laughs> oh, what is this? Buy a waste. Maybe we'll start eating out once your year your money runs out. Recycling point this seems to double the smoking area. Two unemployment office one blank one club six FU. FU Staff only it says and it's locked. Let's go ahead to the motel, I guess. Oh, what is this, a plant? A potted plant subsists among cigarettes butts. There's a bunch of call girl ads stuck on the wall. Oh, maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash, and I, it would be tax free to boot. Say another word, and I'll backhand you. Sheesh. Learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass. You're out of there. That I can't tell you whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. And would you be honest to God backhand me just like that? I'm not right here anyway. Wow, okay, wife beater. Ah. Anyway, don't say that. It's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks. Wow. An ad for a coffee shop. It's difficult to imagine the aroma of warm cup of coffee with trash rotting right next to you. Let me just... Um, Maybe I'll reduce the volume a little bit. There we go. Okay. Cars. Are you tired of living? Inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. <laughs> euthanasia. A soft drink ad. There are, there are three new exciting flavors. Limited time only. Try them now or miss them out forever. Oh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I'm going to try that. We can't afford any nonsense right now. Oh, come on, just a couple of bucks. You can have that, or you can have dinner. It's up to you. Uh, this sucks. It's limited time, too. The park is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. This isn't the room you're staying at, and thank God for that. A putrid stench wafts from within. 
Okay, here we are. Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since he arrived. It's a paper from a few days ago, there's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comparable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, a total waste of money. The closet is empty, except for... Reclaimed your gun. Well, it's not really yours anyway, but whatever, the warden's gun is yours now. There's an article about a chemical leak in somewhere since in some, in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. As med workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Flush the toilet, okay. TV. Hey, get that, get your fat ass out of the way. Ass? I think you meant my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. Move, you cow. Whatever, wanker. <laughs> also, I cannot wash the use of your fat tits. Would you mind getting out of the way, dear sister of mine? I'm not fat. How could you... How could I be after starving for so long? No, you're right, but you're also in the way. Apologize. I'm sorry that you can't understand. I'm trying to watch TV. You're also lucky I love you so, too much to shoot. I appreciate it. And I would appreciate you too if you moved a little bit to the left. <laughs> You're supposed to say you love me too. I do, now fuck off. <laughs> Andrew pretends not to see you, or your fat tits. <laughs> hey you! Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so wet. Have you tried Toxy Soda? It's water, but worse. Now in three new flavors. Awful. Gross. And nasty. Try them today. Mmm, <laughs> poxy soda. Tastes like life. I don't know why I'm drinking this. Jeez, that's disgusting, dude. <laughs> oh, hey, Fuse. How's it going? I guess we go to sleep or something. There's no pillow. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Only then have a panic attack every other night. Is there nothing here on the left? Not now, I'm trying to catch the news. There isn't going to be anything about us in there, no matter how many times you check. Whatever, did you find the gun yet? Also, pack your things, we have to leave in the morning. Is there anything else to pack? Uh, no? Shower? Talk to Andrew again. Oh, there's a bra on the floor. There we go. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Alright. You throw the laundry in the washer. All done. You're welcome. Great. Thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean and I'm a feast on the ice. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. <laughs> You're not going to be in the news, Andy. Mm. <laughs> I should have known. But what are you going to do about it, Andy? You're gonna choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh come on, I'm kidding. It's all it's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are, I'm just messing around. Just a nickname, get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you, and it's a symbolic dumbass. You and your rom romanticism, shove it up your ass. I don't know what, what, I, what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm begging so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm awful, huh? You wanna see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. But you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now, to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartments has ha had a bit of a situation. Nothing major. Just a fire that burned the whole place down. <laughs> Nothing major. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? 
Yes, my deepest condol condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was the most definitely not a wholly misma mismanaged mess. Better burn to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease the sadness, we recommend you try out Toxy Soda. We just rolled out three new exciting flip. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say drink our trusty bubbly poply, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for some wholesome news to cheer up your day. Jesus Christ. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Mm, they must think we died too. And all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it'll work out. That still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late news. Night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. Alright, let's go to bed. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Someone has entered the room. Oh, he sliced his neck, dude. And he sliced her neck as well. She woke up. Wake up, we got to go. Hmm? Get up, I had a vision. We're about to get killed, we got to go now. I mean, do I, um... Uh, pick anything from here. We got a gun, right? In the inventory. So we got a gun and an object as well. Alright. Alright, where do we go? Use a car? Can drive, right? It's not our car. Don't. You told me it's my own choice whether I want a dinner or soda. Well, I lied. Fuck your soda. A pure Sandrew. What do I do even put up with you for? I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not wasting money on this, and that's final. <laughs> I guess we go to park or something. Can we? We can't. Alright, I guess we go to the city or something. So, wanna stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone knows shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it off your ass. I'm bored and cold. Probably cold because that crap messes up with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? <laughs> I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought you were hiding. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Did we eat that guy? Don't say it out loud. Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in the freezer? Ashley, come on. Seriously, though, I guess that's more from where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drugs party with a demons, huh? Why you're asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes through or not. It's not like we both have to be there. You really don't want to be standing here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious what about that cultist looks like it's up to. Ah, uh, fine, you go. But come back soon. You are Andrew. Oh god, oh good, you're not going after all. What? I am, I just... Did you see which way he went? Into the alley, right? Okay. Do we even have the gun with Andrew? I have a cleaver. The road. 
Wait, hold on the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the turret cultists can board. <laughs> Curse you, brats. Okay. It's asking for a passcode. Well, since it's like a demon party and it's a cultist, I would imagine the passcode would be... <laughs> 666? The elevator arrives. Of course. I don't even know why I need to train the idea of it being anything else. <laughs> oh boy. Huh? What? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo shoo. Sorry, I got lost. Is this some sex and demons party? Isn't this a sex and demon party? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. Oh, there's a demon sex party. Oh, well, just regular demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell am I? You're not even dressed up properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know. There was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go, you can go kick, kick rocks. Alright, I'll go. No harm done. Can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. Six Eyes? Hmm. So I'm guessing our neighbors was part of this, these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it, and managed it eventually, but... Decide you should get, get inside somehow and find out. Locked. Locked. Ah, uh, what do I care those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you've done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got employee key. Okay, we go here, I guess. Uh oh Top player is full of cake. Lover, Lover has some paper cups. There's a crumble note in the trash. It reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals. Someone has left a note. It reads, To whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. And the office life, same shit, different toilet. The, dr the drabest set of drapery you have ever laid your eyes on. The buttons won't work without a swipe tag. And the card sits plate full of cake. And a coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for working a meeting. There's an elevator coming up. Oh boy. Curtains. Curtains. Uh, do I just hide somewhere? Like in a cart? Or just hide down here? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, it's going to take two trips. Crumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the cards down the elevator with him. Remove paper cups from the carp. You pull down one of the curtains. Got a curtain. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside a cart. Hmm. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. <laughs> oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He carts you into the elevator. Why is this cart so much heavier than the other? Yes, could it be? The weight of my sins! No! Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. Did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Ahem. Well done, everyone. The ritual is all set up. Now, I know you're all excited about the pre-coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling the Lord Unknown for a while. It's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Oh, look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? <laughs> I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Mm, I brought the cards down. 
but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, can we have some now? Uh, yes, please enjoy yourselves. Where are your robes? Ah, sorry, the thing is spilled some coffee on them. Uh-huh, idiot. Not have you got your answers, you miss Ashley. He's too busy eating cake to care. Wow, someone is under underdressed. Undressed. These cheap asses offer milk for the cough instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I've ever drank piss. Well, say something. Converse. Okay. Where'd you hear about this gathering in the first place? The cult magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but I thought you'd come check, out, check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it in here. <laughs> Candles? No service right now. 6 FU on the wall. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm on a stage. It's like I'm famous. She has begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. Alright, let's get out of here. It should be fine. Take two pieces, right? Look how many there are. Wait, is there like way to the left here? Oh, there is. Oh, there are two, two guys here. Oh, they spotted me. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Oh, no. Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that get up. Yeah, yeah, can't can come in dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right now. Mm, good. So just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Here we go. We leave this place. And there's Ashley. We'll quickly talk to her about this. Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on, on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like a... You hear a car. It's... That's him! That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream. Yikes, he really just went out in a room just like that. You still doubt of me? Where... 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 Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold most of our junk you were hoarding. And I can't live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I'm not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. The, this new one sucks. Still not interested, in fact. I'm somehow even less inclined now. Ugh. You know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down. So even, even if we run away now, he, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... Uh, why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. Well, if I was him, I'd figure out we are getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants us to go quietly. Hmm? He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision again. And you notice how? I know, because that's what I do, duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I thought these things too. True. You question not why she thought about such things. Now, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? Uh. <laughs> Alright, we're going back to the room now. Oh boy. Alright, leave this to me. This has to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber. But hey, opinions. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12, you should have stopped me. So should I talk to you out of this one, or...? No, shut up and follow my lead.
you're Ashley. Closet? Okay. I want a step forward to kill you yet. Oh gosh, Jolly Andrew, I just realized our impromptu, impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be uh, so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage, shielded from the sight. <laughs> How's that sound? Huh? Terrific. Let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Yes, please. Let's save the game. Um, my stuff, right? The laundry. Got washed laundry. Okay, let's not open that. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air. That sounds like the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Here we go. We go through the park now. Uh-oh. Is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner without ambush for him. What corner? It's all bushes. Uh, here? No. What is this cart? An abandoned shopping cart. Very classy. Let's go try the other, other way around. Like here, maybe. Here. This tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays in the motel? Well, I guess we just have to leave then. We'll draw our eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching or, uh, over our shoulders at all times. Ah, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it. Huh? You're making me do it again? Dude only has a knife. You've got this. Ah, I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait, I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you, and you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you're no here. Crap, did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why did he stop? To see what we're up to. Bet this is this is all looking suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Oh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. <laughs> there, off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't want I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. You are Andrew. Time has come to play hide and seek with a killer and Ashley. Alright. There are some bugs in the bush, not much else. Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute? Shh, you didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want me to die? What if he sneaks up on you or... Shoo, shoo, leave. Nothing. There he is. Shoot, shoot! Andrew, dead? Is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. I panicked. This thing is useless now. Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty, so I guess so. Do they sell bullets to just anyone, or do you need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Although I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made, made me shoot him. Are we still playing the finger-pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You're running off out of the light that led out of the blue. What, you need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes? Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him, kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Alright. Quit your bitching, it all worked out. Clue me in next time you have these genius ideas so that I can tell you off. <laughs> You're Ashley. Do we just leave him here? 
Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue? It was us. Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He clears it clearly, clearly, clearly a criminal. Criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got him or something. Ever the optimist. Uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your finger fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ah, motherfucker. What for? My driver's license? Well, good thing it's me manhandling the corpse then. A very dead hitman. Let's see if there's anything in around here. No. Oh, there's some trash here. An attempt on several has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close, they they all they were all so close but couldn't quite stick the landing. Is this his car? I think this is his car. All right, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for leaving, not leaving the fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. You already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine. It's if it's me, right? Uh. Oh wait. There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most more notable reads. Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we included a free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company. Happy washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. Ha, huh, yikes. Take the car and go? Not yet. Let's, uh, let's get some sodas, maybe? No? Go inside? Can't go inside anymore? I guess we just take the car and go, and then... There's nothing interesting on the left as well, I guess? Vroom vroom! So where to? Uh, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely even have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take moms. For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out on the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about take talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you have think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well yeah, but she can she can't sell those. She can, but I sure can. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, no, we still can't go over there. Why not? We got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think they're, you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire too? If anything, it seems they assume the guy took care of us, and that's that. But that's the thing, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Ah, we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you got you, you want to kill our parents? Great. You just said we can we can't talk them uh talk to them again anyway. So that they might as well be dead. Oh shit, dude. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do you where, where do they live them uh, li live now anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah? Huh, the only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured out I tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at this time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we, will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Beat on the floor! <laughs> My god, it's not even your car. 
Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. It'll be, I'll be goddamn if we get caught in a dead man's car. It's because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said, make me, Andy. I okay, what do you want? If it's to piss, piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I, yeah, it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. We'll keep going Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly, it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well then, it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want to get, to get us in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumb ass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Drive, Andrew. <laughs> and so he does, finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time you feel wide awake. I just follow the trail, I guess. Something here? Uh, so? Huh? What? Who's there? Who are you? And where I am? Is this another vision or what? There's no response. There's nothing to step on. There's nothing to step on. Um, you just go back? Just cut some branch or something and step on the branch. Um, no. There's nothing to step on. There's nothing to step on. What am I supposed to do then? Is there like a secret path I can go or something? Mm. Oh, picking up the red flowers. Here we go. Amazing. Threw down some red flowers and stepped on. Oh boy. There's some eyes in the dark or something. I can go up. So, summon you two can tune in. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. Ah, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Can go here, maybe? And here? Wait, did I just uh, enter the same place or something? It's right here? Let's try up. If I go right, nothing happens. And I'm just like back there. 
Fuck! Where am I? Why is everything looks the same? <laughs> Where am I? What's going on? Wait, did I just go down right now? Maybe I just go down. Let's go try to go here. And now let's go up. Let's try to go left. Pick up red flowers. I think I can cross over here. Yep. Drew down some red flowers. Some ice. Oh boy. There's the demon guy. Well, you just avoided falling down in an eternal void. Lucky. Ah, it's you. I saw you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream, I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of the soul stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this right now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know if I'm, I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover's pact you're having with your brother. He carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future? Ah yes, the trinket you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful, thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I'm able to recharge it. Do you want me to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it been... Uh, be, uh, been... Uh, Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with the devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so... If that what what was it then? Not yours. Tarso. Is that like an insult or something? Who's then? Just anybody's? Why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I'm able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all interested in it either. Listen, I really need to go get back my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll take my talisman trick and dream thing working again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind of... Um, I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk about this. I will be waiting. Ah, right. All right. I'll see what I can do. So how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Very well, Tarsal. The entity has left. There's nothing to step on. Pick up red flowers. Uh, let's try to go up. Actually, there's more red flowers here. Put down some red flowers. More red flowers. Okay. There's some more up, up, up here. There we go. That was easy. There are two doors. This door is decorated with eyes. Enter? No thanks. This door is decorated with red flowers. Enter? Yep. Let's go. Oh no. Where am I now? There isn't returning. There's a gift? There's nothing to step on. There's still no more. There's still more. I thought this would make would take me home. 
And good god, I'm so sick of these fucking flowers. Oh boy. Ashley, Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up, it's not so funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something, help me. Ugh. Oh, thank god. I was here away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. What time it is? Like 10 in the morning or something? Mom and Dad should be at work line right now. So whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice to me because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated, or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. Ugh. So anyway, this episode is titled, Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knock-off cash trap show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, boo. No, thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. Ah, but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it, with it for now. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. Come on, we only have so much time until mom and dad get home from work. Welcome to the bumf bumfuck nowhere national park. Amazing. What is what is this? The ice cream stand only operates during the height of summer season. This way is nothing but more parking spots. Okay, I guess we go to the right here. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She sounds happy when she talked about their new place too. What's their last name anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? I The nameplates on the doors. Did they go with dad's or mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find a ho house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Grayson. Shitter son. Shitter son. <laughs> Jones. Mixed waste of bio... Inside is mixed waste of bio waste. Shocker. Ha, ah, here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. Alright, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. What is this? There's a way around. Wait, let's see the other houses first. Ugly Van McHideous. Smiths. Oh, come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter, we'll fill our pockets and go. Some surprisingly heavy rocks. You check under the flower pot. Got a key. Not. There's a fuck all under. Oh, there's a fuck all under the flower pot. <laughs> a stick. Take it. Carrots. Potatoes. One of the planks is loose. The back door is locked. I guess we go through the window. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. There's bound to be something we can stand on around here. Probably these rocks? No? On a pot, maybe? On a stick? Got a wooden plank. Oh, wait. 
we pass through? No. Plays down the wooden plank. Alright, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well? Ah, no good. It's open, but held in place by a latch that on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. I'll push you up after you open the latch. You're just looking for an excuse to touch my ass. <laughs> okay, two things. First of all, no. Secondly, like, I need to... I, I, I would need an excuse. <laughs> now hurry up and find something before I slap you. Oh, my ass or the face? That, my lady, I'll let you find out. Ah, so it's the face. Fine, I'll find something to unlock the latch with. Probably the stick, right? Got a stick. Here we go. Let's see, let's see. Ah. Andrew helps you climb through the window open. Now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'll rather much you just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Innovations are afoot. You turn to the handle, but no waste water comes out. There's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use this one. Mm. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Hmm? Now, what do, what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Uh, exceptionally well done. That was an earthly sh earth shattering performance. Yes. I think that you opened door so swiftly. And with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words that I use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great. Then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is, uh, is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. All right, you find a letter. It reads, "Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It wasn't your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you." P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Dude, those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was just on a pause until I got out of the quarantine. But given the situation right now, I guess yeah, I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. <coughs> ashes, yeah. TV? No. There's another room here. Oh, no, wait. There's a room out. Back door. A fireplace. I have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew? Yes. This is some rich people stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. Is the phone your mother never calls you with? The dresser is locked. Can't steal shit from it. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to in this bed. <laughs> Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. Uh, you close the closet. The closet is full of interesting stuff you wish not to touch. And the rope, dude. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Your parents have lived here for only a few months, yet they have somehow managed to hoard all this stuff in a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an, 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 use, an, an issue. An extra bed implies that there are no issues in their social life either. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Dirty laundry. Right out of the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. I like the toilet upstairs. This one actually works. The floor drain seems a little clogged, but it's not your plot problem. A metal box full of screwdrivers. On the table lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Got a dresser key. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. 
Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Dresser key, amazing. Wait, where's Andy? Wait, what? Isn't this like the... Um... Oh yeah, this is the kitchen. Okay, there's not much in the fridge right now. Kitchen knives. A dish rack and a blender. A sink. Coffee machine. Cooking book, it's mostly broth and stew recipes. Okay. So the room is right here. Okay. Our parents seem to have picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Tell me more. Uh, I don't think I will. But now it makes sense why mom ha keeps hassling us to move out. I can't find a key to the dresser anywhere. Oh, you found a key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sign of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by your company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It's if it is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh? Huh? It didn't know we died three months ago? What the hell is this? I guess that's explains why mom keeps telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit, isn't that too early? They shouldn't be home yet. It's a shame that you wasted all our bullets. Like we shoot anyway. Is someone there? Hi mom, it's just us. Oh boy. Holy shit. Welcome home, Andrew. What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just sh out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. <laughs> let me help you with those groceries. <laughs> like, nothing happened, right? <laughs> Thanks, you should let, let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Were you... What were you do, where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but what are... What about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure, let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Alright, let's go to the kitchen. He's putting away groceries. Meat, wine, looks like your parents had a night plant. The pot seems empty. A sink. A dish rack and a blender. There's the coffee machine. A cooking book is mostly brew and stew recipes. You brew some coffee. So I saw the fire in the news. What happened? What do you care? <laughs> well, first we got evacuated after they... That they gave us the go ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh? Interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would be certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are, neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, you sure look you sure look like it. So uh quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for the, for this place? Did, did you finally win the lottery? Ha, I wish. This house needs more serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do the stuff here. Bet you stick out uh, like a sword thumb. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite uh, well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. The shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with the Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Oh uh, boy, I can't wait to hear how that has been. He must have had all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. 
Anyway, why don't you go to rest? I'll fix uh, something for us. Uh, I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. You are Andrew. Somehow, your burglary attempt ended up with your cooking your victim's dinner. <laughs> victims! <laughs> go ahead and make something. You're a smooth talker, you. Uh, let's see the fridge. Inside the fridge is some meat. You could probably make something out of that if you knew what. Kitchen knives. Wait, there's a cookbook here, right? You browse the cooking book for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can't do whatever. I'm alright. What is this? What, what is it? It's nothing. You're stuck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to back to back to your mind. Where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over your for now. On a simple soup recipe. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes and onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. You don't have all the ingredients prepared. Sink. A dish tracker and blender. Okay. Gotta meet. Kitchen knives. You cut the meat into chopper meat. Chopped meat. You have nothing more to cut. A dish rack and a blender. A sink. Uh, so we got a meat, right? Where do we get the carrots? And everything else. Oh, 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 there's something here. Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. <laughs> it's not enough them for you. <laughs> got a bit of cash. I mean, where are the rest of the ingredients? Are they not in the fridge? Where, where, where else are they supposed to be? She bought some groceries, right? Okay, let's go check in here. No, nothing here. Okay. Let's go check downstairs. Okay. Mom, don't you two ever get sick of each other? All the time. I hear I, I hear Absis is making the great grow founder. Very very last thing I need to grow founder of that nightmare of a woman. Truly, this is a stellar mop. A functioning toilet. Nearby screwdrivers. Christmas lights. Like, where's supposed to be the rest of the ingredients? Are they like, did she leave them uh, by the car or something? Your parents' trash bins. Maybe mix up some trash or something? To make the- oh, there we go. Probably in the garden, right? Got onions. How nice that our parents had all three fresh ingredients while we languish in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to about this now. Now she's now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not just jump to jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? Get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can't tell whatever it is. It's going to start an argument. So you leave it for me for now. Got carrots. Got potatoes. Alright, I think that's all, right? You cut up potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut onions into chopped onions. And you cut carrots into chopped carrots. I'm just curious, did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You throw the ingredients into the pot and wait. Alright, you can take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell you something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you, but first you have to promise me you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying, what is it? You're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to conclusion by yourself, but since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. Ugh, no, no, none of that. 
I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you n mentioned this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Oh, here comes the dad. Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids, I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Alright, I guess we just uh, gotta clean up now. Picked up dishes. Picked up dishes. Sink. Where's the sink? There we go. I can't be done. The dishes, the robbing or the killing. <laughs> robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report of the authorities to put us on the radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do we reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not there are two dead kids. But were the documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave sibling perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there's, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're, real, you're all about being so careful. But what push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy ha family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping our up, 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 keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Tell to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay, listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not, not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you'd keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just as peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just, it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have mis misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't like me, eh? You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy's dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you, you get. <laughs> nah, now it's not the time for this anyway. Let's just leave and we'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charge, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. Eh, I get that, but if we leave quietly, then there'll be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. <laughs> what are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in the pod. I don't suppose you've got, gotten any friends you could have stayed with. Oh. There isn't enough space in this house, despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how, uh, how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you inde indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. What a bitch mom, dude. And it should be probably be two separate places. That's a tall order from all our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. 
Speaking of which, I have morning shift tomorrow, so there's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Mm, mm. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof right now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Huh? Sleep now or get out at once. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your minds occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Oh man, what is this? Oh, what the hell? Greetings, neighbor. Hoth, though, arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar. Behold, as thou may witness, naught but flesh doth I possesses to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this, yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. It is time for you to compartment compartmentalize. What is this? This freezer isn't isn't full of human meat. Got a limp. Got a limp. This pan is empty. All oh, right, Ashley already cooked one. Oh, what the hell is this? What are you doing here, Lele? I... Actually, no, don't ask her. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exit anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. She's a, she's a small Lele. Stop following me, you little shit. <laughs> oh, it sure darkens that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them over. Ha, huh, no way. Ask nicely. Kill her! Ask nicely. <laughs> May I have one of these candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's cake anymore. Just eat it then. That way you can pretend you ate the cake and won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a tool in today. Okay, whatever. There's nothing to light. Um, okay, we'll go here, I guess. The door has no handle, nor a little budge. Okay, I can go here, can go here, 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 here. Here. Can go up, can go down. Okay. I mean, what am I supposed to? Oh wait, wait, wait! There's another one, one here. Oh, let me get that. Let me place a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. You used your lighter to light the candle. Oh, there we go. Here we are. Oh, okay. White noise. Even if your dreams, the entertainment sucks. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep. And never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Ugh. Well, if I make myself, I get red. I'll get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. You reduce yourself to for to an errand boy for a lele that doesn't even exist. Way to go, loser. There's a ghost here or something. Wait, can I No, oh, I can't. Got some colored pencils. Who is this? Andrew. Julia. 
You've been quiet all day, what's up? No, no, it's nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much build up, you kind of have to now. Uh, well, okay, but please don't, don't go mad. When have I ever even raised my voice with her? You know, you can tell me anything. I talked to my sister about what she said the other day. And she agrees with me. That's maybe it's like maybe it's better for Ashley to learn some independence, you know, even if it's just for her own sake, you know. And maybe for our sake too. I think it's just be nice if you could stay even more often, and not like always cut things short or cancel me on so much. Sorry, not re reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything though. No, but you could like you know uh, not always go when she asks. Your sister need, needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asked if she actually needs something, I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shocked up after what happened to your friend way back then. Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is, uh, why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mutter, mutter, she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, nothing, go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happened to her. Or something to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. Hee <laughs> hee. I'll be fine if you're with me. Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no, you'll pull it out again. Ha ha ha. Oh, but don't you know how it's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It's been that long, I just kind of forgot about her, all the chaos was going on. You'll never see her again, and the fact that she doesn't really bother you, bothers you. It's your ex-lover's dormitory room. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? Wait, let's save? Okay. Someone stares inside a room with an unblinking gaze. A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Of your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. It's probably her, right? It's Lele. Okay, let's just get her the candles, I guess. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with your my bad ideas. Good call. Well, whatever. As I think I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it, were, if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's a flames for you. Baha boohoo, you suck. Got a candle. <coughs> okay, now I can go all the way back to here. And light this one. What the hell is that, dude? Ashley wouldn't want to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. So you can't comprehend why there hasn't been any even mention of her in the news. Surely someone found, our, uh, found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there even an inves investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't look, uh, doesn't like bother you. You kill this one to protect Ashley, no regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind, there is one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. This one you had uh, to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you to do that because badly enough to hire this guy. Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up and get it? I'd rather not. What do you need for it anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. So are you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Suit yourself. <laughs> what the hell? Got a sever severed limp. Well met, young Graves. Wait, can I go to uh, left? To get whatever that is over there? 
The possesseth the absent limb, yet it does not belong to me. Purchase this of little consequence for to thee. Um, place the limb in the freezer. Place the limb in the freezer. Place the limb in the freezer. There's a severe lack of human meat in the freezer. Uh, okay. I mean, what am I supposed to do now? Can go up, can go down, can go left, can go right. Oh, here we go. Got a limp. Does thou reckon that my mortal frames was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust, pertinence it may cook, but to burn I knoweth not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine or own remains in the thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindle a flame which engulfed all. Okay, let's just put this last limb in the freezer. This reminds you of something. What is this? Oh boy. Oh no. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> Do you, did you have fun last night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh, guess she's still sleeping. Oh shit, dude. She's probably dead and not sleeping. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, don't. You open the crate. Oh, oops. Wait, what? Why is she dead? How did... What? That can't be right. What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Shut up. Just shut up. Forget this. Let's just leave here. Here, her, leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she she went there on her own anyway. No, no, it doesn't. Why would she have a why would she have clawed at a crate until her fingers nails split if she was there willingly? Oh well, it's not like anyone knows she's here. Just leave her. No, she'll it'll, it'll start rot. It'll start rotting, and someone will come looking at to find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Mm, I... Fuck. Let's just hide it then. What? Huh? If no one knows, it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find out the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in the prison for the rest of my life. Me too, it's fine if, if it's the both of us. No, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't get in the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, okay, let's just, like, move her somewhere. Yeah, gray, let's take up a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, there's a probably fine. But first we need to wrap, wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. Morbid curiosity compels you to take a better look. Instant regret. This will have to do. Got a tarp. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp. Oh, it's her name is Nina. Okay. 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 I see. We 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 have her name now. And carry her away. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured the wooden planks would work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch your splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy to dig spot. Got a wooden plank. The corpse is wrapped inside the tarp. Here? Maybe here? There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Is this, is this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? 
Forget it. She fits here just fine. Ah, uh, okay, fine. You and Lele push the body into the grave. You have to cover the body. Okay. Crap, it doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, there can be this. This obvious spot. It needs to be hidden too. Want to hide it with some leaves and such? Got foliage. Some more foliage is needed. Got foliage. It's right now. Some more foliage is needed. Oh, wait. More. Alright. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here to hold them in place. Probably these rocks. Got stone. Nice, makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, I was just saying. It's, uh, what is it now? She's hidden. What if she? What if they find her? What if the police dogs dig her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. Say one thing and do another. Promise me this time. You'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell. <coughs> I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. Uh, there, there. We'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I tell everyone all about what you did. I was going to play with you if I'm in jail. I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. It's so will just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be an all alone in prison. I'm your best friend from now on. You'll already wear Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. That's fine, because you'll be all around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't mean... That doesn't matter anymore, because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. Ugh. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom. Why do they have to put this jam thing in a strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. I wish you had like, the capacity to care. <laughs> Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked how, how everyone in class. My, some officers came by too. Did you say anything? Nope, I only asked Julie if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she, uh, she, she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you, you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Ah, oh, wait, I see how it is. You're still pinning for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead. You're... you're... <laughs> Yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It's never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Uh, rude. Uh, 
pick up a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Got a kitchen knife. There's no need to leave the house. Wait, who is this? Hello, son. Hi, dad. Uh, bye, dad. Oh, no, I'm not jumping. Huh? Right, it's just our job. I can find always find another. The mother said I was too good for that one anyway. I wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious, precious life. We're all important, Anders. It's Andrew. Uh, I'll go see what they've got for me at the employment office. Great talk, son. Okay. Lele, what are you going doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. Keep my secret and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. Hi, oh, you're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you ruined my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't. If you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele, you're a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy, sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ah! Gently, you asshole. How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus, she forever kept her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm? Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. <clears throat> oh, wait, no. I want to do a do-over. <clears throat> Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Oh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority. Just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just kill our parents? Huh? Hold on. That's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake. Good morning. Or night. It's still night time. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? <laughs> right now, while they're asleep. I'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now you're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got our, out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because to, at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of wild women would be gobbled up. You already chump. Huh, what are you doing? A demonstration? God, you're so fucking dumb. I should... Andrew, are you still awake? Yeah, we're well, still up. I thought you had to work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you with you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but it's this is important. I've been thinking over and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright, I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Mm, oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind me, little old me. <laughs> For the love of God, this had better not be what it looks like. Ah, oh, whatever. How does it look to you? Where did you get... What's looking? Uh, lo what is it looking like now, Mom? Ashley, come on. You know there, there aren't any bullets left in that gun, but your mom sure doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're we're going to the basement. Don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, get a rope or something. I'm trying to, I'm trying this bitch up. 
And don't kill dad. Did not need to be told that. Uh, wait, where was the rope again? I can't remember. Was it outside? Um, rope. Oh, he was in the in the closet right where his dad slept. Oh, he's sleeping. There's no. There's some rope in the closet along with the other equipment. Wonder if this is fine. If you untangle the rope, then everything else. Ah, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son, what on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry, I needed to. Uh, there's also no good explanation as to you rummaging through this, their sex toys. And the truth is, I want to tie mom up. Doesn't sound any better. I want to fuck myself. Oh yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Where's your mother? She wanted to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, this is so morbid. Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. Oh, man. Wait, do I go to a uh, kitchen? Get some knives or something? Uh, kitchen knives, no? Okay, I guess I just get a cleaver. What is going on? Andrew, weren't you supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> Just walk down, slow and steady. You tie your father off with a rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrists. Better not to dwell on it as you rather not visualize how they came to be. Andrew? I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. Okay, what do we do now? Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk either. Just shut up and wait. Uh... Got Christmas lights. You tied your mom off with Christmas lights, so this is what your life has come to. Alright, good. Now you do remember how to perform the ritual. Hold up, mom. What's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? You'd go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna try and try. I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends if they behave or not. Ugh, alright. I'll be quick. So I take the credit card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing here? Go back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up on our faces. It's amazing how co cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them. Didn't I already say so? Well, you have the habit of flip-flopping. Lay. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. Heh, <laughs> you're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. You're Ashley. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it involved... Uh... Runes, candles, and blood, right? That should be it. And music. Um, yeah, it was music, runes, and book, and candles. I mean, I uh, runes, candles, and blood. It was rune and music as well on top of that. Runes on the floor and the warden's blood. I also have some stuff. And then there was a big magic circle already drawn. I think that was drawn with blood too. 
you nod to yourself confident and pleaded with your memory. Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need to to some blood I need some blood to draw with. Okay. <laughs> Two humans shaped in a sit on the floor, but you have no nothing to cut them with. You need a knife. Alright, let's go get some knife. From the kitchen. Oh yeah, wait there. There's the knives. The kitchen knife. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Let's take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Or like, this time you left me to starve for three months. Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. Ah, oh, what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near the warehouse you used to play at. Ugh, whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right in there. When it comes to being a mother, I'm a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint. Ah, yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would, they would done to you if they they would find out? Now then, your paragons are virtue. Let's see whose blood I should use. Which one do you cut? Cut mother? Cut father? Uh, let's cut father, I guess. Give your father's arms a good slice. Hey! Which part of no screaming escapes you? Mother would like to gouge your eyes and feed them to you. It brings your hearing rate to light. Cut blood. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish in drawing this masterpiece. Look, Ma, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you, you never. I don't know, the letter arise out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. Okay, where are the candles? Well, let's see here. Screwdrivers. Got candles, times four. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Alright, that's all the candles I had. Welcome back. Okay, let's see. Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card. I do? You do. I could only get a couple of hundred before it locked me out. Ha, huh, suck it, bitch. Being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of a customer service. Get up. You have, to, you have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Off we go. Where's the phone? Oh, there it is. I think it's right here. You're in luck, as a customer service line has just opened for the day. Yet somehow there's only a million hours wait, so guess what? You wait. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. Nice, roughly a quarter million later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want to remove the draw limit altogether? That is what I said, yes. Oh, that is crazy. What is your card gets stolen? Indeed. Oh, not all that being held at gunpoint here. Ha ha ha. There we go. You're, you're good. You're gold. Is there anything else I could help you with? Apparently not. Alright then, have a nice day, Miss, Mrs. Graves. Now it's back into the basement with you, and don't think of a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. We're just a small talk. Alright, let's go back to the basement then. Alright. The 
card should be free now. Like your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here, and let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes looked like right anymore. God, your memory is such a shit. They already figured out as much as so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's a blood right there. Because you might have a good reason not for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair, whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but I mean, still. Just hand me the card. I Actually, I can really leave Andrew with, alone with the mom and dad. Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley, you wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to long to, uh, leave him with your parents. Save game. Yes. <coughs> trust him. Okay. Just give me the card. I'll go get the money. Got a credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? Ah, uh, see you later. It'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have a trinket. You're Andrew. There's nothing you can do about this missing audio, but at least you can draw the missing runes. Now, where did Ashley get all this blood? Got blood. Is, it, is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on, of course not. Technically, anyway. Then what is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that, how about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. Alright, the runes. One here, one here, one here. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly, about Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you for always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a 7 and a 5 year old to care for. I think you'd have a fart better than me. I wouldn't know. This is an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. Ha, ah, so fine. Look, we are right now. Anyway, you were such an easy child. I thought it would just be fine having a mother. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see her what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If it's the money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put a good word for you, you're good as hired. But forewarned, though, they get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. You should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? Your parents are offering you an olive blanche. Let's save. Uh, decline. <laughs> well, about Ashley. I wish you wouldn't talk to her about that way. Let's not fight. There's a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. What were those death certificates all about anyway? It's all life insurance scam, nothing more. How's that work? There's this doctor, well, a surgeon actually. After they told us you'll be stuck in this apartment, we got redirected to him. And as far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had a life insurance. Well, I got it for you too after you got quarantined. It's kind of curious that they let you do that. So then, when we died, were you, were you in on it? Of course not. I really thought you died. They said your bodies had to be burned because of the parasites, so that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah, she's full of shit. Where are you going? I have to finish setting this thing for her. Oh, come on, forget about this nonsense. We can sort the documents out. Hell, you can even live here if you, that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you just like that. That's okay, I'm not really interested. What? But that's that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not? Ah, I get it. You fucker. Huh? Oh, that's disgusting. Andrew, she's your sister, for God's sake. I haven't done anything. What the hell, mom? Then what does she give you that makes it worth all this? Well, that's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. No, I mean, yes, you are, but I'm never. I'm back. Now, of all times. 
I got the money. Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? Oh boy. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> or whatever. Summon the fucking demon already. Ah, uh, so eager. Let's see if, she, if, she, if it shows up though. And there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, I'm still armed. Andrew, light the candles. Alright, here we go. Alright, get to it. You're Ashley. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. or Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the moon music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something, please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. Ah! Tar soul. What the fuck is that? I offer those two. Their screaming is short lived as the demons tear their souls. Ha, huh, I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon me after all. Why did I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now, it makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. What? What? Hello? This is the brother. That's right, my pride and joy. And no, you can't have his soul, it's mine. I will see you again, Tarsoul. Sure, I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Bring this one with you. What? Me? Why? Okie dokie. Bye bye. The entity leaves. And that's that. The trinket is charged. What did he mean he'll summon you? Who cares? What do we need? What do we do about the bodies? Who cares? She's. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies. Um. Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other hand, that having gone missing would definitely be better for us, but they just fucked off somewhere, who knows. Meanwhile, if it, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. And we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, Ashley, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, uh, how do we go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. There's a drain right there. Alright. Your, see, I'm not dumbass all this time. No, just dump and an ass. Oh wow, check out this smart ass right here. Andrew is untying the parents but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is that breathing? You take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, oh, he is. Mom too. Mm, you try various things but nothing gets a response from your parents. Their hearts still beat. Their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable? That can't be it, the cult has died, and the wardens too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? Uh, I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, no, please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you're ripping his head off must have done the trick. Holy shit! It'll be some with the, it'll be the same with these two. Go to cutting. No, that this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. But if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. I don't know. I need to think. Oh come on! Where are you going? No, Andrew. Look, look, look here for a sec. What? Oh boy! You get your father too. What are you doing? There, all dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. <laughs> he'll be a bitch and moan. Surely he'll be bitch and moan as per usual, but you did not miss the sight of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents soulless and lifeless, bodies all over the shower. Holy shit, dude. Alright, I'll start cutting you. You guide the blood into the drain with a shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, what? Stop, 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 it's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Oh, great, the drain is clogged up. And then the latest screw shop. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping up the bodies. I'll get you something not clogged the drain with. Got a screwdriver. How do you unclog this thing anyway? 
After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down to some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. I'm going to need the screwdriver, some baking soda and a vinegar. Baking soda and a vinegar. Okay, let's try to find that. I got a vinegar. And a baking soda is probably in the kitchen, if I'm not mistaken. Check the cup cabinets. Got the baking soda. There we go. Andrew unscrews the drain lid, pours in some baking soda. You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't seem to loosen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get uh, have to get in there. But of course, I'm a beaten dainty little lady. You can expect me to do my man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. Uh, where are the gloves? This mop is incredible. Got rubber gloves. Here you go, have fun. Handed Andreas rubber gloves. He digs out a god knows what out of the drain, a seemingly never ending amount of god knows what. Oh god, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Bold of you to call me that when I'm armed. <laughs> Cass, you wouldn't. Come here, you. Ah, oh, no, don't you dare. No, I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I apologize. Fine, you're spared. For now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dis dismember your parents and disembowel them and decapitate them. You also make them a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy like you expected him to. Oh, man. Who is it? What? No, nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Oh, uh, what? To think I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. All oh, right. And again, I bet you're just mopping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? I'm what? Are you doing all right? As all right as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're, uh, being, uh, weird. Look, who's talking? Huh. Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of all of it. Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Got a head. Got a pile of organs. Got a head. Got all the limbs. That's a lot of limbs. A torso times two. Um, this mop is incredible. I mean, do we just put them in the washer? I mean, what can we do? We, we can't go out. There's nothing in the closet. Oh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into the soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I need you memorize it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Okay. Oh my god. Holy shit. All of which you poured down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good? The good has gone. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. Why? Did you want me disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take what you, what, what you are, you idiot. What's your mouth? The idiot just poured your parents down the drain. Hell, right. That was pretty smart, I guess, for an idiot. Oh, 
Holy shit, dude. So we need to get the carrots and uh, all the stuff from the garden. Potatoes, carrots, onions. There we go. You don't have all the ingredients? What do you mean? Oh, I need to chop them off. Cut the limbs, you chop the meat, skin the heads, cut the face, cut skull. What do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know, throw them into the fireplace? What about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with the other bones. Cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes, onions, carrots. Okay. Look at that, much better with you, that's your soup. Now with, there's, there, now there was anything else we still need to deal with. Soup is brewing. Uh, I mean, what else do we need to deal with? Throw the skulls into the fireplace. Oh, we can burn the bodies here. It will be like a cremation. There's no way w the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Woohoo, watch. Place the torso above the fireplace. Under rolls his eyes, but lights a fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute. God damn it. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. Sigh, so, let's leave this for now. Throw the faces into the fire, too. Do you think the soup is ready yet? Alright, let's take a look. Dinner is ready. I'm eating, too. Of course, this is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, for all. I suppose. That's right. Now say, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Jeez, this is disgusting, dude. They're eating their own parents, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Unexpected. Well, where? How is it? It's okay. Just okay. I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom just a dry person, alright? <laughs> How the hell is it dry? This is soup. <laughs> no, mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. Gasp, you will retract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is the thanks I get. I'm sorry, you can't cook. You're not forgiven. Oh, jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. <laughs> what? Come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic. In a way, my dumbass can appreciate it. How about that? Hmm. Why, yes, indeed, this cooking is beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. I'm out of this world culinary experience which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all those subtleties. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I meant it was a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings. No, gods. That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh, good. Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, there is a food too. To ease your weary soul, she brewed a broth, broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips quite past midnight. <laughs> Should I buy a lip balm? And the meat isn't dry, God damn it! It's just right. Ah, oh, whatever. Humans are hard to cook. I'll get it next time. What next time? Ah, oh, whatever. Anyhow, I think we've dealt with this flesh the best we are, the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. But first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. It should be fine just to chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Got the human soup. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup, as long as you don't look nervous. No one will think any of, any of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Uh, right, what was I thinking? You wouldn't even worry if I told you to. Okay. Let's throw the soup away. There's no one outside. Throw away the leftover human soup. You are Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ash loses track of them. Got plastic bags. Okay. Let's see. Bones. Bones. <coughs> the 
flesh is burned into charcoal, but the bones remains. Got bones. Put them in one plastic bags. Is there any more bones downstairs? Probably not, right? Let's take a look. So what do we do about the skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did we do all, all, all this crap for then? Quiet you, as long as the teeth are removed it should be fine. Based on what logic? The dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down, just in case. Okay. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Got all the teeth, now you gotta find a way to rid of them. Got through the skull. Got through the skull. So what do we do now? You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few tries for them to flush. They are all gone. You wish you could do this all by your problems. <laughs> flush the teeth down the toilet. Uh, okay. So we lose the teeth, bag the bones with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it. So we gotta get some rocks from outside or something. There's some rocks right here. You place them in one of the plastic bags. Okay. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Ah, uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would I have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but... Eventually someone is going to gay. Hey, Mrs. Grace hasn't shown up for work in a while, so they'll get fired, so what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact they're apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice they're gone, despite their name still being on the door. We can tell them some lie, say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family beside us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway, they can't go all haven't heard from them too in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with uh with the authorities and they, who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, How the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't wanna stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, I just don't want to think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into some problem with us with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. Ugh. Sorry, Ash. I wish it was that easy. Whatever, I'll clean the basement then. You're Ashley. Okay. God damn it, I really thought we were in clear after all this. Ah, oh, whatever, I'm gonna need the mop. There it is. Got an excellent mop. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to uh, clean these as well. Should I put the candles back in the box too? I guess so. Rumor has it everyone wants a brilliant mop here. Return all the candles into the box. There we go. There we go. This was all it, I guess. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so, though there's no way to tell if we missed something still. So. Other than maybe see if you have some dream where we caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so I stand the reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if disaster awaits us? Please do. Where did I take a nap? In their room? Or downstairs? Let's try downstairs. Now that you mother is that there's no need to sleep down here with a sewage stench. A <laughs> sewage stench. Oh my god. 
So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did it even say about it exactly? Hell, if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You didn't even remember our parents' address, which of course just as important as this. Look, it just said that I need to hold on to it uh, to have a clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then could I hold it this time? I gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you? What it hurts to try. God, you can't read between the lines for shit. That was, that was me telling you no. I did get it, I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all the time and let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... Uh, we're not cutting it. That's not it, but I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See if either of us get a vision. How oh, it's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. Come again? Holding hands when sleeping together. Man, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's fine. Though I still think I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. Good night. Good night. <laughs> fuck this. How am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? <laughs> and it doesn't help that all my mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did a so that little show was was about there. Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regrets regret, regretted her entire life just then. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. Uh, what? Nothing. Good night. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. Okay, here we go. Got pink, pink, pink plushie. A sucky drawing. The TV won't turn on. Whoa, who drew all this garbage? Oh wait, so this is like a map where I have to go. So from TV you go down, right? You're here? No? What are these all on the floor? Hold on. What is this? Got a red crayon. Nothing but static. Oh, here we go. Can I go here? No? I mean, do I have to draw anything? Maybe? I mean, blue... So green? Hold on. Red crayon. It's from TV's right side to the green crayon. Okay, so we go here, right? Okay, that's the green one. So now the green one is from below up to the blue. So here. Okay. That's the blue one. So where do you go with the blue again? Gave pink plushie all the crayons. Oh, okay. The TV and you watch each other. More importantly, this episode is titled Lele and the Lele Alone. Now loading. Pink plushie sits by its safe. Take it. That pink plushie. Dinner plate of it sits on the floor. Water plushies won't budge. Mother plushie won't budge. 
Got a green plushie. Seat down the pink plushie. Pink plushie fell off the seat. Seat down the plushie. Okay. Can I go here? Huh? Yes, what is here? Got a stool. Place down the stool. Say the pink plushie at the table, but it fell right off. Okay, let's take the green one and let's put it here. Take the pink one and let's put it here. Okay, no. Can I do anything else? Let's see. Pillow. I guess we take the pink plushie and put it on the pillow. No? There we go. The pleasure seems to happy together. Okay, here we go. This is the next uh, step. Purple plushie won't budge. Yes, yellow plushie won't budge. An empty spot. The chest is locked. The trash is locked. Soup is ruined, though it seems to be missing su sustenance. I mean, can I gather anything? Or... Um... Maybe get something from here? Got mom plushie. Got dad plushie. Can I pick up these as well? Got a green plushie. What's done is done. Okay. Place the green plushie. Okay. The trash can be now utilized. Can it really? Yes, it can. There's nothing in the trash. There's nothing in the chest yet. True mom and dad plushies into the pot. <laughs> okay. There's nothing in the trash. There's nothing in the chest. Got purple hussy. Got yellow flossy. So we put them in the pot or we put them in the trash? Place the yellow plushie. A bit of wishful thinking, perhaps. And the other one in the box. Now it's exactly where it belongs. And go to the moon. There is nothing in the cage. The cage is empty. So now we take the green one, right? Got the best thing in the world. I think I played this wrong. Like you have to play this correctly with the, all the all the all the colors and bunnies. There, all better. There's a knife. A pedestal with nothing on it. Flowers. Let's put the flowers on the petals. So let's take a knife. In memorated evening. Is mm. this, I guess, broken heart? 
here. Finally, you monster. Yeah, I, th I think I made this right, right? It should be, at least. No? I can't go back. Look at the broken heart. With this broken heart here? It's with this heart here? No? Wait, so we put um, the sunshine here, maybe? And we put the broken heart here. And we put the heart here. There we go. Seems on uh, same path to enter. Enter? Yes. <laughs> what is this? A spirit. An existence of some sort. Found an empty bottle in a trash. Wait, is there anything else? No. Bottle up a spirit. There's a rope of some sort above, but you can't reach it. Guess what? It's locked. Flowers have yet to bloom. Bottle up a spirit. There's nothing to step on. Another spirit. A loose stick breaks off. Got a stick. Use a stick to pull down the rope ladder. Got a key. Okay. Got a watering can. Okay, and now we just uh, water these plants. Take these two. And make a bridge up here. Amazing. Waddle up a spirit. There we go. An entity has appeared. More sticks. So I need more sticks. It's not gonna branch up a tree. Tree you got a stick. Need more sticks. Another stick. Okay. Let's try. Uh, okay, that's it, I guess. Should be enough, right? Place down all the sticks. There you are, finally. It's into the ball with you now. Just kidding. Let's get out of here before it finds us. Oh. Andrew? Andrew, where are you? Right here? What the hell? Don't just run off like that. Did you see any visions? I take that I take it that you didn't. I couldn't sleep. Well, I think I saw a vision, but it didn't seem like anything important. I was just collecting ghosts or something. Nothing about getting caught. Nope, not a thing. Huh, okay, I guess that's a good sign. Wait, did you see... Did you say you couldn't sleep? Yes? Oh my, for a moment there, I thought you had a, you have changed. What are you on about? Hehe, <laughs> nothing, nothing. So what's eating at you? Come on, you can tell me all about it. Well, I don't know, something about getting caught red-handed? Nah, not the parent parent decide itself. Come on, let's go ditch the bones already. Every second we wasted is a second we risk getting caught. All right, the bones. Got to get rid of the bones. Are they downstairs or something? Wait, wait, wait. Actually, no. Maybe we have them in our inventory or something. 
Yeah. Okay. I mean, do we have a car or something? I want to have a car. Oh, yeah. I guess we do. The bones roll down. <laughs> what the hell? I hate you. It's not my fault. The stupid bag ripped off on its own. I don't care. Hurry up and pick them up. Thank God there's no one here at this hour. <laughs> room, room. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light, just in case someone does pass by. Okay, here we go. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do we make sure this skull sinks? It'll probably be fine. To the ocean they go. Well, there they went. So they did. Should we recite our prayer or something? Let's not get our sanctimonious here. I feel like we should, I don't know, say something? To put it past us for closure. Closure for what, exactly? I don't know, it was just a thought. I'm starting to think you want me to be upset. I'm just worried. I, don't, I know I, I don't give a shit about, but I thought you did. Uh, I did. And fine, let me think. Take your time. Dear mom and dad. Thanks for giving me a life, it's been awful. And thanks for giving Ashley life, she too has been awful. Hey, I am sorry, I didn't, I, did you not want me to share my thoughts after all? Some eulogy eulo this is, but go on. Sorry for selling your souls, that was very rude for us. But you sold our first, that makes us even, doesn't it? Ah, uh, that's all I have to say. Maybe he hasn't changed after all. You seem a bit down. Are you sure you're not the one who wanted to say something? If so, then go for it. It's not that, then what? Say now, what this has been dealt with, are we in the clear? Honestly, I have no idea. There's always the possibility I overlooked something. That's right, and I bet you did. Huh? But you fucked up bad, and we're just waiting to get hauled off to jail right now. Death row, here we come. Wow, thanks Ashley, really. Way to put my mind at ease. Hee <laughs> hee, you've got nothing to fear as long as I'm here with you my trinket. I don't know, did you just say your last vision was useless? Foolish Andrew. If it would be in trouble, surely the vision would have shown me that way instead. You're so confident in pulling these assumptions out of your ass. But I hope you're right. Don't you worry, just leave it all to me. But anyway, what should we do now? Leave it all to you, huh? Our next move, Andrew, planet, uh, well... The money has bought us some time, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really, though? Can we just live in the car and mug some people for a living? That's just not going to work for very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. Then we can't buy fake identities. I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them and I'll get right on that. Ah, that cultist club seems like a sketchy spot. Maybe someone know there knows so uh, someone who, who sells them. Probably not, though. Stop being such a de defeatist. Let's go take a look, little look and see. The crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only letting us stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car into some random parking spot. So there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever. Let's get going. Andrew? I had a mole here? Are you coming, or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Well, wow, waste of time and money. I love it. Ah, oh, glad to hear it. End of episode two. Wanna save the game? Yes, let's save the game. You can continue here once episode three burial has been updated. Ah, uh, okay. Once the episode 3 burial has been updated. Okay, so I guess this is it for now. Mm. Let me just check real quick on the Steam or something. Is it if this was it or not?
How many episodes are there actually? I mean, this is early game, right? Let's just Google it. How many? How many episodes are there of the coffin of Andy and Lele? The current game version features two of four planned episodes. The latter two of which are currently in development. The plot follows siblings Andrew and Ashley Grace, who, which find themselves in a co-dependent co relationship with one another as they commit various crimes while trying to survive a dystopian world. Okay. This will happen sometime in 2024. Okay. Cool. So this was it for now. Amazing. Uh, pretty good game. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Uh, hopefully we can play this uh, when they update the game again. In 2024 and finish it off. This was like, what, 4 hour stream? Damn, it's pretty long. Uh, thank you for watching everyone. And I will probably kick in some streaming on an hour again. But it's going to be some RP on uh, Origin Dawn. I'm going to have some fun... Um, with Empress and all that. Cheers, have a good one, and have a pleasant rest of the evening.